De Broglie calculated wavelength of a moving electron. Electron is the matter. How it was moved? It was moved with a potential difference. If that potential difference is V naught, the electron will move from lower potential to higher potential and it will have certain kinetic energy and we have studied that kinetic energy is equal to its potential energy which is Ev naught. So, taking all these things into consideration, we start with de Broglie's equation that lambda for a material is equal to h upon mv. Okay, wavelength for a material is h upon mv and this he converted as h upon half mv square which is kinetic energy and to balance it, it is multiplied with uh, say uh, m m. So, this is 2 m. So, this is m square b square and we make it square root. Yes, now it is equal m square b square square root is m. Now, this is written as h upon half mv square is kinetic energy and this we have done that this kinetic energy of electron is equal to Ev naught. If an electron is moving under potential difference of V naught then it has energy equal to Ev naught. So, initially it all energy is all this energy is converted into kinetic energy. So, the measurement of this kinetic energy is equal to Ev naught multiplied by 2 m 2 m. So, this is wavelength and this square root, square root. Now, see the quantities in each, H Planck's constant, M mass of electron, E charge of electron, mass and charge of electron, V naught H Planck's constant V naught stopping potential it was or it is potential under which electron is moving potential under which or we can say potential applied. Okay. So, now we know the values of these constants and we put the values. What is value of Planck's constant? 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 34 root 2 multiplied by mass of the electron and mass of the electron is n. When we solve all this, this comes to be 12.27 into 10 to the power minus 10 and this is to be divided by root v. This is wavelength of electron which has been excited under potential difference v. Now 10 to the power minus 10 meter is angstrom so, we can remember it as 12.27 upon root V angstrom. Now, this wavelength will increase or decrease according to the potential difference which is exciting the electron, which is asking the electron to move. So, this was the calculation done by de Broglie. Let us revise it once again. According to de Broglie's wavelength, the formula is H upon mv. For the photons, what was our formula? Lambda is equal to H upon p. For material, it is mv. So, this we converted to the formula H upon root 2 mev naught. V naught is what? Potential which is applied to pull the electron. 
Now H put the values Planck's constant, mass of electron, charge of electron and V0 whatever is applied we kept it as V0 and this comes to this value. So this is wavelength of electron under potential V. So please remember this is a very important derivation but this was done theoretically by De Broglie. It was done theoretically, there was no proof during the time of De Broglie. So all these things that matter has a wave, electron also move in waves and if electron moves in waves, it has a particular wavelength which is equal to this. This everything was on the papers, on the theories, it was not proved. So at that time they used to call it De Broglie's hypothesis, not a law. So later there were experiments and this was proved that electrons do move in the form of waves and they have a wavelength what was predicted by De Broglie and then only it was proved that yes De Broglie's hypothesis is correct and material actually moves in form of wave and matter wave do exist. But that was done after the lifetime of De Broglie and that we will that experiment we will see in our next lecture. Thank you.